Okay, am I on? Oh, I am here. I have no idea. I'm having technical difficulties. Hello. Oh, hi. Hi, everyone. How's with my tea? How's your Saturdays going? I've lost my tea. Oh, it's here. It's here. I've got it. I'm in a mess. I don't know if you can see anything of my um, room. I'm not going to show you because it's, there's just jigsaw puzzles and bits of Barbie and Minnie Mouse and everywhere. So, um, yeah, so I'm super grateful that you've all had a bit of time to come and chat because James is doing some Saturday working and, um, yeah, so it's just me and the kids just like every other day. You know when you like hang on for Saturdays because you know you're going to have another adult for company and then they have to go to work. And I know it's work and he doesn't want to be there on a Saturday. Still. So you guys are going to keep me company, hopefully. Um, oh, hello, hello, hello. Oh, someone said, oh, going to a BBG meetup soon. That's so fun. Um, oh, Wilson Fernandez says I'm looking beautiful. Well, what can I say? Oh, my makeup looks super pretty. Brittany, you have no idea. This is the most hilarious thing. I spent a little part of my morning, or a large part of my morning, while Maddie was watching her programs, watching YouTube makeup tutorials, trying to teach myself how to do makeup at the age of 36. Oh my goodness. Everything about putting on makeup is so complicated. Um, and they were all like, this is a beginner's easy tutorial to learn how to put on makeup. And it was hard. I was like, mm, I'm not sure if I'm doing it so yeah, so I've got a bit of like, um, you know, colour difference going on, but it's, uh, um, it's, it is what it is. So what I will say, girls, is I'm going to have a little look through some of your questions and um, I'm actually going to upload this. This is, once this records, this Instagram Live, I'm going to um, upload it onto YouTube. So if any of you have to pop off and I don't get a chance to answer your question in person, it, you can go and look it up and it will be on there. So if you do ask me a question, will you put your first names on there just so that when I read them out, um, you'll know that it's you I'm talking to and it's a bit more personal and I can get to know you guys a bit better. So like say your name is Emily and you have a question, we'll be like, hi, it's Emily. And then leave me a question and then I can feel like I'm properly chatting to you because our fitness Instagram names are like quite, you know, they're not like just talking like Nikki and Emily and uh, Brittany and so, especially me, I mean, my name's actively Reese on Instagram, my name is Nikki, like, it's just, it doesn't make for the most personal chats, does it? So, um, oh, Disha says, you're awesome, I enjoy your posts every day. Well, I just love that, thanks, because I feel pretty ridiculous every day doing it, but you guys make it so worth it and always make me feel so confident, so. Oh, Bethan from Bargoids, hello. Hello from Spain. Oh my goodness, right, so let's just see if I haven't missed any um questions let's see oh lovely day here in cardiff hello at number 19. maybe my name should be hello at number 29 because i live at number 29. um yeah it is a lovely day at cardiff shame i'm sat in the house i really should take my kids to the park or something but you know when you don't want to go on your own Belarus. um what oh so here we go it's i think it's dick's D rocks or Dix rocks. Hi, can you tell me what kind of exercise you do? Uh, yes, normally I do um, Kayla Itzina's BBG program, uh, which is like a body weight, um, high intensity resistance program. You can either buy it as an ebook or you can get an app that downs downloads on your iPhone, uh, which is what I use. But um, because I had my boobies done three weeks ago I'm sort of just trying to do whatever I can that just involves lower body at the moment so apologies if you didn't know about that and you really didn't want to know but you know what can I say so yes yeah, so that's what I do I highly recommend it I think it's the fab program I highly suggest you go check it out uh Annika hi Nikki hi love you love you um oh someone else loves YouTube makeup tutorials well wow, I just I think James saw me this morning and was like, what are you doing? I was like, I'm just trying to be better at putting on makeup. I'm, you know, so. Um, oh, Brittany says it was so worth it. It looks fantastic. Thank you, Brittany. I will keep practicing and see. Um, active Mama Bear, hi from South Africa. Okay, Sarah says, what were your workouts like when you first started? Did you find it really hard? And how long did it take you to feel good about what you were doing? Oh, ages. When I first started, I mean, first I failed four times before I got through that first week. Um, but I realised I was failing because 
I wasn't prepared to modify. Like I felt like I had to do everything perfectly to for it to count. And it just isn't like that. So as soon as I realized, okay, I've just had a baby four months ago, I can't do one sit up. So I'm gonna have to just crunch until I build up the strength to do a sit up. So that's what I did. Instead of sit ups, I did crunches. Instead of push ups on my toes, I did box push ups on my knees. I would take out the jumps, I would take out the weights. Um, I don't, you know, I had to really, really start from scratch when I started the BBG program. Um, and I highly, highly suggest that you start all giving yourselves a break, start being really honest, admit to yourselves what you can and can't do, because I think then it was week six, I did my first push up on my toes, and it was amazing. It was the best feeling in the world. And then I would get all cocky and confident, be like, yes, look at me doing my push ups on my toes. And then the next week would come, and for some reason, I wouldn't be able to do the push-ups anymore. And I think, oh, I could do them last week. But if the push-ups come after some awful exercise, oh, here she comes, trouble, um, that, that has destroyed your arms already, it's gonna be even tougher to do those push-ups. So it, it, you've gotta take each circuit as it comes, day by day, not hold yourself up to some enormous um, expectation and just do what you can on that day to your very best ability. And that's good enough. That is absolutely good enough. Um, and when I got into that mindset, that as long as I was doing my best every time, I had, I had, I flew through the program. There was no more wanting to quit or feeling like, oh, I can't do it, it's too hard, it's not meant for me, any of that. So, um, so yeah, so just, you have to be honest with yourself, you have to be willing to be a beginner and there's no shame in that, it's where, um, that's where we all start and I found it so hard in the beginning um, so it says Amma uh, Morris I don't know if I'm saying that right how much time did you wait until you got abs and um, my abs started to come through about week 21 um, and that wasn't I don't think that was super super down to the workouts I think that's because I from I think week eight I had started to experiment with clean eating and this was the first time in my life I'd ever tried to eat clean and um, It leaned out my, my worst area, which was my midsection where I sort of carried that sort of tire of weight around the tummy and the hips and clean eating really really blitzed that area for me and the more I think I saw my first difference in two weeks in my tummy and then that just really spurred me on to keep going until I went on my holiday which was at about week 19 um, and then my my abs started to sort of peek through from about that point um, staff attack woohoo hello um, who else have we got let's have a look um, BBG is Claudia. Hi Claudia, how long have you been doing BBG? I will, I'm coming up for my two year anniversary. I've got like one month left and then I can say that I've officially been doing it for two years. So it's, I feel really proud because it's not sort of two years of doing BBG. It's two years of, you know, that day when you decide to change and you just decide you're going to do it and um, and I stuck to it and I, I think I've dabbled with fitness many times before, bought every DVD under the sun, joined numerous gyms, done numerous classes and I've never ever stuck to anything for sort of more than six months maximum if it was like DVDs at home, like I mean two weeks maximum but you know I, I got quite into Zumba at one point and I did that really religiously for six months but nothing ever stuck. Um, and I largely thank all of you for the fact that it has because I do very much believe even even now in as much routine as I'm in If I didn't have you guys come and talk about it with on Instagram It may still all fall by the wayside So I do I'm very appreciative that I have all of you who take an interest in the same things that I do and we get to have this lovely conversation together so um uh, love it how the hearts look like they're coming up from your teacup. Oh, I didn't notice. That's so cool. Oh my gosh. I love that. Oh, that should just be, it's like heart steam. I love that. Okay. Uh, Simco, Simco, oh one. Hi, it's Simico. Simico? I hope I'm saying that right. I do apologize if I'm not. Where am I from? Well, I live in Cardiff in Wales in the United Kingdom. 
Um, my mum was English and my dad was Indian, so that's where I get my dark hair and my dark eyes from and my Asian nose. <laughs> um, hi from Texas. Uh, Cher says she's three weeks into round one. Oh, and I'm her inspiration. Oh, I love that. Thank you. Thank you. That really means so much to me. Um, jo hi, it's jo uh, Joanne. Hi. Can you post photos of the meals you make or post some recipes? I can't post any recipes because I don't really do any cooking. But um, I don't know if you can... I've had my computer out all day because I've just edited... And I'm about to upload to YouTube a video that vlogs all my meals for one day. So you get to see them, you get to see how big they are, you get to see all the stuff I put in them, like half a tub of honey. Um, yes, so for one day it will take you through everything that I eat in a day. Um, and sort of my thought process, like when it comes to like, is this a balanced meal? Um, and I do give you, if you wait till the very end of the video, it will give you all the nutritional information, like the calories and the macros. Not because I count them, but just because I know a lot of you want to know that kind of thing. So yeah, so hopefully that will be up tomorrow. Um, also, if you, if you want to know more about um, food, um, if you head to my blog, which is activelyreese.co.uk, there's an old post from when I was in calorie deficit um, that will tell you a whole week's worth of what I ate for all my meals and snacks. And then there's a newer one, well I say new, it's still fairly old, but that where it's another um, what I eat in a day type of post which will give you some more ideas on there. Recipes, I mean, like I said, I really don't make anything. I eat out of convenience, so I buy a lot of pre-packaged stuff. Not processed, but as in like, the, where the veg is prepped and then you just open the packet and chuck it in because I'm not a good cook. Um, NutriFit Yogi, did you try a cleanse detox tea? No, I actually have just part partnered up with a tea company called Fit Tea. Um, you will have seen, I just did three, I, try, I got to try out three of their teas because you all know I absolutely love and adore a cup of tea, whether it's an Earl Grey, which is what I have here, or whether it's like the fruity ones. And they actually did do some detox teas and they asked me if I would do that, if I wanted to try one and then sort of promote it to you guys on my Instagram. And I said, no, I would never, I would never talk about detox teas with you guys because I just don't believe in them. If some of you have tried them and you've had great success with them, then I, you know, more power to you. For me, I don't know the science about them. I'm not really interested in detoxes or quick fixes or anything like that. I drink a cup of tea because I love a hot cup of something, with preferably with a biscuit. So, um, so yeah, so I got to try the peach tea, which is gorgeous. Um, and the, I think it was called recovery tea, but basically it was just a fruity peach tea. Their matcha tea, which was also good. And my favorite, which was called happiness tea. Um, so yeah, I just tried the fruity ones. Um, so no, I don't, in a very long-winded answer, I don't do detox teas. Um, I just don't think they work. I don't really think a, a tea can do that for you, but that's just me. Oh, and then I moved the car, yeah. Uh, Camembert, hi from, oh, that's such a cool name. Hi from Australia. Hi, it's Emily. No, it really is, lol. Ah, it's an Emily. It's like, we met, I must have known you were on here because I, well, you were my invisible um, imaginary friend at the beginning. Um, just wanted to know how you started with such a large Instagram following. Um, well, I don't know, I started, obviously a brand new account. It was an anonymous account. I used to always have my phone in front of my face. And um, the first week I was on there, I didn't even know how to use hashtags. So no one found any of my posts. No one commented on anything. And it, I think it was just, it was literally on day seven where someone who I'm still friends with this to, to this day, uh, Michelle, from she's uh, at Balance and Bisco, um, message like, well done, keep going. And that was my first comment ever on an Instagram post. And then I started to look at what other girls were doing in these hashtags and use those. Um, hashtags are really the key to your visibility, but they really only work if they're relevant to what you're doing. Um, the other thing you can try for visibility to get your Instagram account noticed is um, look at trending topics that week. Um, so for instance, like there's, 
Uh, at one week there was um, a hashtag really gaining momentum called gaining weight is cool so um, if you join in on those types of things then generally people lots of people are interested in searching those hashtags so it means your account will be more visible but in my opinion with Instagram followings um, as I really have come from a novice um, point of view as and I didn't know anything about social media um, it's on it's all about your story it's about is your story relatable to someone is it something someone's going to going to say oh my god I, I, this person is just like me um i've tried at various times early on in my account to try and be like other people's popular instagrams like to have the, the gorgeous feed or to take you know professional looking photographs or pose or whatever and I I just as soon as you start trying to be something that you aren't naturally it just falls really flat and you just need to be yourself tell your own story and I 100% guarantee there will be a hundred a thousand ten thousand other people who eventually cotton on and realize that they are just like you and want to follow along like I never thought anyone would want to follow along a stay-at-home mum who literally only posts pictures in her hallway mirror and does her workouts every day in her living room so it's um oh my goodness there's a glass of milk um so yeah so my it's just stay authentic don't believe you have to change who you are to have a popular Instagram yeah where's the wipes Mumu because you got a very runny no nose um sorry um so yeah don't believe you have to change who you are to have a popular instagram it's literally about just finding a story to tell every day within what you are actually doing and i think the more you care oh there we go sorry the more you um care about other people and are willing to care, um, engage with them the more they will engage back with you i'm so sorry What's the matter? What do you want? Come and say hello. No. <gasps> no. <gasps> You're gonna wave to everyone. No. Um. The other thing you can do um with building a following is um you can obviously if you have doing like transformation pictures and something you can tag no, some of the bigger no, accounts we're like just fitness we're health waving. um fitness girls motivation no, that kind of thing and sometimes. They pick it up no. and will uh, repost. I'm so sorry. Get up. You want to get back up? I get back up. Um. So yeah, I I struggle to give valid information about building a social I media presence I because I generally don't believe I'm any good at it. I just feel fortunate that lots of you want to follow along. So um, I I feel like I've answered that so badly. Um. Let's see what else we've got. Uh, sorry. Oh, I'm being rubbish. I can't scroll. Uh, active Mama Bear. Sasha. Hi, Sasha. I'm finding it hard to lose weight, but I'm strong and gain muscle. What's best to get lean? Clean eating is best to get lean. In my opinion, you could look into the macro route so you can do flexible dieting. Ooh, whoops. Whoops to Daisy, Maddie. Um, but in, I will say that for leaning out stubborn areas of fat, once you get rid of the sugar, the refined sugar, the sugar is an added ingredient, the processed food, the white bread, white pasta, once you get rid of all of that, it, it doesn't take long for your body to start to strip away some of that fat. Um, the other thing, I mean, you could look into um, intermittent fasting, but this that's not something I know about, but I know there are a lot of girls who've had great success with intermittent fasting for fat loss. But my personal opinion and what works for me, if I feel like I've got a little bit fluffy, especially like over Christmas time, is going back to getting the processed food out of my diet, getting all the added sugar out of my diet and the white bread. Not that I eat, actually, I don't really eat white bread, but I do like pizza and stuff so so yeah um i imagine though if you've gained muscle though that's going to reveal some lovely gains if you uh if you do that uh let's see uh odors is that i said that odors fitness journey hi from norway the, hello 
Uh, hi from Canada. Yuck. Hi, it's Yuck. Emma. Hi, Emma. From New Zealand. Did you ever struggle with self self doubt when you first started? Oh my gosh, massively, Emma. I no one knew. No one in my family knew about BBG or Instagram because uh, they just would have laughed at me. Um, I remember doing um BBG Week One pre training where you just had to step up onto the box and step back down. And I couldn't even balance, I'd lost all my balance. Um, and I just getting myself up onto this box and back down, I can't tell you what a struggle it was. And there were times when I just literally wanted to burst into tears because I just thought, what are you doing? Like, why are you bothering? Um, and there were also times when I went into um, a circuit thinking, oh yeah, this looks fine, I can do this. And then the realization that you're so far away from where you thought you were, and it's soul destroying. But when you get on Instagram and you make a fitness account and you have other women who are feeling exactly the same as you, just like we're talking right now, it suddenly makes you feel like you're not alone, you're not stupid for wanting to try, that this is perfectly normal, everyone sort of starts off this way, and it, it's just gonna feel so great when you finally reach those little goals. Um, so I do recommend to any of you who sort of just watch from the sidelines on Instagram, make your fitness Instagram accounts. You don't have to put your faces on, you don't have to put your real names on if you don't want to, but it really, really does help with making you feel like what you're going through is normal and you don't need to doubt yourselves because you need to appreciate yourself for even attempting to do it um you need to be in a positive headspace um so yeah make fitness instagram and then we can chat all the time um am i using any creams on my body i mean i anti-cellulite firming no i love the keels and um, creme decor body moisturizer that's really all i use on my um on my body i don't use any um anti-cellulite stuff or anything like that um my cellulite um is generally pretty good now because i don't drink any like sodary stuff but i do find as soon as i start drinking lots of tea or lots of eating lots of goodies that it gets a little bit more noticeable than before. So some people don't agree with this. Some people think it has nothing to do with cellulite, but I always think I can see it more after a lot of alcohol or sweets or, you know, and I mean a significant period, not just like a day, but like, a, you know, say like the month of Christmas, it'll look worse afterwards. Uh, Steph, hi Nikki, I'm starting BBG on Monday. And my biggest weakness is sugary food. How do you stop yourself from constantly falling off the wagon? Um, I do, I approach myself with kindness, put it this way, because I'm someone, as soon as I, I think I'm not allowed something, then I want it more than ever, and then I'm likely to get so far off the wagon I'm never gonna get back on it. So, I tell myself that nothing is forbidden. That if I really, really, really genuinely have to have something that I can, I try and keep lots of good alternatives to things in the house. So generally the only like sweets and crisps um, that are available in the house are the kids. So if I'm gonna eat them, I have to know that I'm eating the children's food. Like, so they're all like the ones that are actually designed for children. Um, I allow myself four squares of dark chocolate every single day and I always have done because life is not worth living if you can't eat chocolate every day and I find that knowing that there's always chocolate in the house and that I'm allowed a small part every day is enough to stop me from just having the whole bar. I'm not saying there haven't been times when I have eaten the whole bar but they're few and far between. Um, the other big thing that uh, I do, and this sounds a little bit weird, but when I really, um, I, I eat a lot um, of sugary things late at night out of boredom if I'm just up watching TV. So I always now try and brush my teeth. As soon as I feel like I want to have finished eating, I brush my teeth to try and get my, mentally get into that headspace of, I brush my teeth, it's time for bed. We're not snacking on anything now. Oh. <gasps> Oh my goodness, my my toddler just chucked a whole bottle of water it's all over herself. Yeah, she's put a dress. I so I'm gonna have to go. Come here, sweetie. Come here, it's okay. Let's get this wet dress off. Oh my goodness. Aren't you glad you came on Instagram live with me? Um 
I also would highly recommend that you also get yourselves into the mindset. It's okay. You also get yourselves into the mindset that if a bad day happens, and by a bad day I mean you eat everything in sight, feel horrible about yourself, that you just get over it the next day. And that doesn't mean you punish yourself the next day by doing 75 workouts and eating virtually nothing. It means you just have a normal day. And that the more you get back into your normal days, the less likely those days are going to matter, as in the bad days are going to matter. Because I find that those bad days only count if you let one bad day turn into two bad days, turn into a week, turn into a month. So you've just got to get yourself out of it really quickly. So you've had a bad day, oh well, life carries on. The next day, no punishments, no guilt, just get back into a great day of eating, great day of choices, a great workout. And, you know, don't stress yourself out by trying to do double the amount. That's just going to make you quit all over again. It's just a great choices, a great day of choices, great workout, great eating, and get yourself back on track super quick. Because really, one day of being not so sensible doesn't really matter in the space of a year, does it? But when you're talking about months of being in that cycle, that's when it really, really takes its toll. Hayley, hi Hayley, oh from Qatar, is that how you say it? I have friends, I never know if it's Qatar or Qatar. How do you include resistance bands into BBG workouts? Do you use them mainly for leg day? Yes, I don't really um, use them in arms just because I have obviously dumbbells um, that I use if I want to increase anything on arm days, but on leg days and abs, I will use resistance bands. Again, that's video number two that I'm editing today is a little one on some resistance bands mo band moves for BBG. Um, uh, but mainly I use them if I was gonna do them on ab bikes. That if you imagine this is my feet, I hook the band over my toes and then you're pushing away like this for ab bikes. Um, and then obviously for, for added resistance on anything like squats, um, so even on jumping squats, anything like that, anything you can wear a resistance band for, I will do it. I don't put them on for lunges. Um, you can do like, if you were doing um, snap jumps, not snap jumps, what are they? Um, split jumps uh, from plank position. You can have them on your legs as you're jumping your feet apart. There's loads of things you can do. Um, but uh, yeah, I've done, I, I'm gonna do some short videos on them. I've done the first one, which has got a few moves in and I'm gonna try and keep up doing them because I really love resistance bands. Um, it's Andrea, from, hi Andrea from Spain. Sorry, that was a terrible introduction. I would like to know how much time did you wait to get my abs? Oh, like I said, it was about 20 weeks. Uh, so about five months. Um, my A team, hi, could you tell me what the difference is between lean and regular protein by Sheceps? Yes, great question. Um, regular, the regular protein has about five ingredients, don't get me wrong, one of them is literally, the, it says like sweeteners or flavorings and colorings, so it's not, it's not that it's a clean product by any means, it is like any other protein powder, but it's just got a few, it's got fewer ingredients in it. And it has, I believe, about 21 grams of car of protein, sorry, and about five grams of carbs in it. The lean protein has, in comparison, I think 24 grams of protein and three grams of carbs. So it's slightly lower carb. If you were doing a low carb diet, it's slightly lower carb for that. Um, but in the ingredients, it's got some added ingredients in it like green tea extract, um, things that are known to help or aid in fat burning. So um, it's just a few, it's, I think it's got about 12 ingredients as opposed to the original or the normals five. Uh, I like the normal, I prefer the taste, it's super creamy like a McDonald's milkshake um, and I love the fact it only has these five ingredients in it. So I stick with the normal, but as a lot of you I know love the lean. So I hope that answers your question. Saffron, hi Saffron. What's the weather like in Wales right now? I'll be there next week trying to pack. Any tips would be great. The weather here is bipolar. It's beautiful sunshine here, this, sorry, this side. And then if you move over there, there's a massive black cloud that's about to pour down with rain. So yeah, good luck with the packing because you're gonna need a selection of everything, I think. It's been so 
miserable and really cold. Like I've still been having my heating on, um, but there is sun, so there is hope. Um, uh, NutriFit Yogi, you turned me to BBG. Love, love, love it. Thank you. Oh, that makes me so happy and proud. That's really nice. I love to hear that. Um, oh, nice photo of me and my boy behind. Yes, that's Charlie Reese when he was a baby. He was literally about 15 weeks old. I was about 11 years younger than I am now. Oh, yes. Oh, my boy. You hardly ever get to see my boy. I hate that, but he's just so too cool for hanging around me right now. It's hard. Um, when did I notice? This is Lavanya. I hope I said that right. When did you notice most of the physical changes and how strictly do you follow a diet plan? Now I don't strictly follow anything. Um, from week eight, well, up until week eight, I was breastfeeding, so I couldn't diet um, or look at calories or, any, or anything. From week eight, I would say to week... 30, I was pretty strict on 90% clean eating, 10% treats. So that would be roughly like half of my day, half a day a week, I would have treats. Like I'd have a takeaway dinner and have like a pudding or a snack, but it would literally roughly be about half a day. Um, so I was quite strict for between that time. And that is the time where I lost a lot of my weight and I really slimmed down and I did tone up, but I, I didn't have a particularly athletic shape. And then um, once I'd done all that hard work with my diet, I was able to relax my diet, eat more food, and, and the attempt to build some more muscle from home. Um, oh, you're all saying such nice things, thank you. Hi Nikki, it's Emily. Oh, another Emily, hi. Do I have a, do I have a job and do I do PT? Do you do PT? I think that's what it says, not part-time, is it? Do I have a job? Um, I don't, my job is technically stay at home um, mum. I, before I had Maddie, I was a teaching assistant in primary school uh, with like literally the four year olds. So if you ask me what I did, that's what I did. Um, but now no, I'm home with Maddie at least until she goes to school herself. Um, but I'm very fortunate that um, my social media has allowed me to earn a small income. So I would now, if anyone asked me now, I would say, um, I don't know, what do you say? Blogger? Social? I hate saying social media influencer because that is definitely not what I do. Uh, I would say Instagrammer or blogger prob probably um, if someone asked me what my job was. But generally I just say stay at home mum. But I do make a, a small income from my, from my Instagram. Um, do you lose your fat only with BBG? Yes, I only do BBG or do nothing else at all. Just what it says in the guide when to do it. I will, you know, sometimes like if I really hate a particular exercise, I might swap in something that I like, but generally I follow it to the, pretty much to the letter. So, um, oh, well, uh, this is a Judai, I, I, I'm really not sure if I'm pronouncing that. Wow, you made me feel so much better because I can't do some of the exercises. I feel like a failure. Oh, I'm glad that you can all understand that we all start off like that, and it's just you know, it's you got us. It's okay to be a beginner. Um. Ah, oh, Sarah says thanks so much for that answer. It made my day. Oh, Laura's on. Hi, Laura. Hello. <coughs> um, I love you and Moo. Oh, you're all so sweet. My. Baby is a diva, honestly. If you had her all day, you wouldn't be saying that, I don't think. Um, did I quit BBG between the BBG programs? No, um, I've always just gone straight through. Once I got through that 12 weeks, I just thought there's no way I'm ever, ever gonna be a quitter ever again. And I haven't ever looked back, so it's all good. What does the Reese mean on the end of my handle? Reese is my surname, so I'm Nikki Reese. Uh, is my full name, um, and Charlie is Charlie Reese, and then we have Maddie, who has my boyfriend's name, Gundy. So we've got James Gundy and Maddie Gundy. So we're the Gundy Reeses, but I'm technically Reese, and I just kept it because originally when I started my Instagram, I was Reese BBG fifteen, just like some really random generic name, um, and then I think it was about thirty weeks in, I decided to have um, like a more fitnessy type of name, so I just changed it actively Reese. I did think about being actively Nikki, 
but I just figured you all knew me as Reese BBG15, so I would just keep the Reese. So it's actively Reese. I wish I, if I'd had my choice, I'd have just changed it to Nikki Reese, but every version of my name is taken on Instagram. Um, oh, Moody Baby, on week 11, eight pounds heavier than the start, being good with food, what have I done wrong? Oh, week 11, eight pounds heavier than the start. When you say being good with food, are you being, it, what are we talking about? As in, are you in a calorie deficit? Because I think maybe you need to work out how much um, energy you're expending every day. Like for me being at home, my Apple Watch tells me that I expend, even with a workout, I expend 1800 calories worth of energy every day. And so therefore, if I wanted to be in calorie deficit to lose weight, I would have to be at around 1600 to sort of lose like a pound a week, um, which I think is a sort of a fairly safe way to lose weight, pound a week. Um, so I would, I don't know what you're doing wrong. I don't want to say you're doing anything wrong. Maybe it's muscle. Have you done yet measurements to see if you've got, gotten smaller? Um, because to make it to week 11, you're doing amazing. Like you need a big pat on the back. Mommy, it's me. Oh, thank you, baby. Just give me a nice sticky sweet. That's lovely. Thanks. Um, so yeah, so give yourself a massive crazy, pat on the back. Puck. Your outside crazy, will catch up with your puck. inside. So don't give up hope. Take does take longer with some people. Um, I would normally say usually by eight weeks, some, most people have normally seen a difference. So if your measurements aren't changing, um, I would say look at what um, energy expenditure you have every day and try and work out what where you should be sitting for calorie intake. Um, I'm not a huge fan of calorie counting, but sometimes just once a month checking in just to see what a normal day's food is like and that you're on sort of the right track so you can plan a bit better. But uh, keep going, lovely. It will catch up, I promise. Um, what else have we got? Let's have a look. Oh, you're all being so nice. Hi, oh, Chloe. Hi, Chloe. Um, do I, do you follow a certain eating plan? I'm hoping to start on Monday. My son is eight months old. Oh, how lovely. Fingers crossed. Um, no, I don't. I have the, all the Kayla, um, food guides and obviously it's all in my app. I do use it for reference. There's a wealth of information in there. I really knew so little about proper nutrition that it's really great to read and learn from and then I just use that to help make my choices um, and to make them you know to guide me on how portion sizes on food groups um, on lots of suggestions for meals I won't necessarily make her recipes I don't really cook but it, it gives me lots of ideas of my own um, D fit BBG hey Nick always love checking in with you and seeing where you're at oh that's so nice um, Nadia Lewis, what does your daily nutrition like? Oh, well, like I said, YouTube video coming tomorrow. What I eat in a day in video. You can see exactly what I put in my food. You can see how simple my food is. As in, it's just the most convenient store-bought stuff you've ever seen in your life. Oh, my healthy fit journey. Hi, Deb. Um, let's see. Let's see. Oh, you, oh, you guys. Honestly, you are all amazing. To even put yourself in a position to start, to try, to or to keep going, you need to really start praising yourself and seeing all the good things that you're doing, rather than looking at the at the things you think you aren't doing so well. Um, okay, Rudy. I'm about to complete BBG one, and I have had a baby in December. Congratulations. Do you think I should do round one again or move to round two? Okay, I did, redid round one just because I was super excited to see how much further along I would got after 12 weeks to redo it to see if week one still felt as bad. bad. And yes, it did feel just as bad. Um, so I loved repeating BBG one, but when I got to weeks nine to 12, I was like, I'm not doing this again, no way. So I just did them for that second time and I, and it's taken me like a year and a half to go back to BBG one with the start of the 12 week challenge. Um, BBG two is great. Um, it adds in more weight. So if you are looking for something bit, a little bit different, it does have a lot more weighted movements in it. I don't like it as much as BBG one. Um, I think BBG one always has my heart though, but, um, I really like my favorites have been BBG one and then BBG three, which is where it starts off in the, 
in the app. You can only get BBG3 in app from the app. But I did love repeating BBG1, but that's my no, opinion. Yucky. But if you fancy something new, just go straight on to BBG2. You've got yucky hands of you. We need the wipes. Here they are. Um, um, Shez says, Cherie here. Hi, Cherie. What is your typical weekly eating plan? Go to my blog, activelyreese.co.uk, and look for a post that says what I eat in a week. I think it was a six day food diary. It's all on there. Um, it should give you, I'm really repetitive with my food, so it should give you a really Daddy. good idea. Um, I can hear James has just come in. I'm going to be mortified to do this in front of him, uh, him and i got to sort out this mess that my baby has made. So I'm going to have to cut it short here. I will upload this straight to YouTube. So have um, a look if you had if you missed anything. And hopefully I'll see you soon for another one.